Oh, hi there, um, my name is Will uh, from uh, the Deal Maritime Folk Festival. So, um, what's the future hold for the Deal Folk Festival? Because it's a very, very popular event, isn't it? Yeah, it's been very popular and um, it's got a great history. Um, and this year it was going to stop, and a few local group, groups, including us, decided to get involved. And um, we put on a brilliant festival within about three or four weeks because it wasn't going to happen and in August. We sat down, we got something together, we got African music and traditional music and um, we've got really big plans for the future. So what does the future hold then? Well next year, uh, which is going to be held at the same time in September again, so 2011, but we're going to move the festival in 2012 um, to uh, the half term holiday, including the bank holiday. We're going to do it over the course of the week um, in May. So, what sort of crowds have you been getting? What, what do you expect for next year? Well, the, the, I mean, next year, um, if we can keep moving forward and really getting people outside of Deal to come to Deal, to see what a great town it is. Um, and we're going to do, I think what we're, we're doing now will appeal to a, a broader audience and then they can just see how fantastic traditional folk music is as well through that. Because you're also bringing acts from across the world, aren't you? It's not just local acts. Yeah, it's not. We had uh, Nuru Kane and the BFG, who um, are from Senegal, uh, based in Paris. Uh, we saw them play at a festival, and uh, they were completely mind-blowing, and the event sold out. And um, so it's that real world music folk twist to it, and some contemporary folk, but keeping the tradition alive so that the story of our history of Deal and um, Kent and Britain is told through the traditional folk music. When you've got artists coming from other parts of the world, what do they make of Deal as a place? What do they make of the town? Well, I think the big thing Nuru Kane was blown away by was just how strong the community was. There's a lot of great things going on in Deal. We've got uh, very active um, green groups and um, moving towards self sustainability and um, you know, it's a great community, so I think that that was all the artists who come and play, especially um, the nights that we've had on at the theatre and the smugglers' nights, people have really seen what an amazing community we have, and, and that definitely makes them enjoy their gig a lot more. Thank you very much, and best of luck. Yeah, thank you. Hi, my name's Phil, and I'm working for the Deal Maritime Folk Festival Committee. So can you tell us a little bit about the history of the festival? Uh, the festival originally started as a sea shanty festival in Deal, in the maritime aspect of it. Uh, it's since developed in recent years into being more of a general uh, festival celebrating sort of English folk and Morris and traditional folk music. And um, this this year it was close to not happening, but um, kind of got saved by various different groups of people in, in the local community coming together to, to put on kind of satellite events that came under the, the moniker of a Deal Maritime Folk Festival. So what sort of audiences do you get? Because folk's got this sort of image, hasn't it? And it might not be one that many people associate with young people. And do, do you have quite a diverse audience? Um, I think this year, at least from my, from my perspective, the audience seems to diversify a lot. It obviously attracts a lot of the traditional folk festival crowds, people mm. interested in taking part in sessions and uh, sing-arounds and Morris dancing and that sort of thing. But um, we've kind of diversified the, the genre and, and the sort of music um, on this year. So we brought in some world music musicians, we brought in some more contemporary folk music musicians. So we've got a much younger, much more kind of diversified crowd. Will you be playing yourself? Uh, I will be playing, yeah. I play with um, Cocos Lovers and various other bands. I'm sure we will be playing in various forms, singing sea shanties and playing our own music and all sorts. And how does it feel playing your hometown? Uh, it's always great. Um, we've got some great spaces now uh, in town, such as the Astor Theatre, to play, and it just means it's a. We've got a, um, places where we can sort of draw a, a regional-sized crowd, and there's always a great community spirit, and they they really get behind us. So it's great. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you.